What is up guys, Bot Investigator Solheim here, back again with another classic WoW Season of Mastery video. Today we actually have some good news regarding botting in Season of Mastery, so let's get into it. So roughly two weeks ago I made a video on bots are hacking in Season of Mastery, showing how they are fly hacking inside Dire Mall to farm Dire Mall, and basically I just showed you guys the botting situation in Dire Mall in classic WoW Season of Mastery, and ever since then, or for the past two weeks, I have been monitoring the people that were inside Dire Mall on my server, and I've also gotten some help from Craigor on my Discord server to do the same on North America as well. So we have monitored Dire Mall on two servers for almost two weeks now. I think I've been going for two weeks and he's been going for a week, and just recently there's been a massive band wave for the bots inside Dire Mall. So there's been a massive bot wave or massive band wave for bots and also gold buyers. And we actually have proof for this as well, but I'm going to show you how bad this was before the ban wave happened, so you can understand why the ban wave had to happen. Okay, so roughly a week ago we did a scan on Shadow Strike on the Shadow Strike survey for Dire Mall, and you can see the majority of people from these scans or from these who searches are hunters and mages. They are usually ungilded hunters or mages as well, and sometimes they just join random guilds, but we can confirm almost 75 or 80% of these hunters and mages are actually bots, based on monitoring them once in the morning, once in the middle of the day, and one time in the evening. They are always online, and for the ones that were in a guild, we also hit up their guildmaster and talk to the guildmaster. And they can also confirm these players are inside Dire Mall for 18 to 24 hours every single day, just doing nothing. And when we or the guildmaster sends them a message asking them what they are doing, we either end up getting no response or just a blank no. Like no matter what you ask them, as long as it's either botting or Dire Mall, they will instantly respond with no and nothing else. A guildmaster sent a message like, what are you doing in Dire Mall? And they are getting the response of no. It's absolutely ridiculous and these bots are these hunters and mages. A lot of them are bots. And just to show you guys, there was a massive ban wave two days ago. And now it looks like this. Before there were over 50 people inside Dire Mall, with the majority being hunters and mages. And now there's 20 people. For example, on this screenshot right here, which was done at 8.15pm, you can see there's a ton of hunters in Dire Mall, and we found 48 people. Going over to the next screenshot, at 11.12pm, so roughly 3 hours later, there's once again like 50 people, and a lot of hunters and mages. Try to keep an eye out for the names here, because some of the names will be shown several times, over 12 to 18 hours. So next screenshot we have another one at 2.35 am and over here you can see some of the same names, hunters and mages once again, 49 people found. Going to the next one at 5.09 am in the morning you can see once again a lot of the same hunters and a lot of the same mages and 43 people found. One last screenshot for 7.32 am once again, like now there's 38 people, but a lot of the same mages and a lot of the same hunters. And here's another cool thing, if you time it correctly, you can actually get yourself into a group with these bots as well. So if you just invite them at the right time, you can enter their dungeon. And in this case, you can see this bot right here is clearly hacking. He is no clipping and fly hacking to do Dire Mall. You can see him right here clipping up into the air through the roof and then he will start running in the dungeon itself just to go for the last boss and do that on repeat. Taking this one step further you can also join the group as a priest and use mind vision to see exactly what these bots are doing. So in this case we actually have a priest in the group using mind vision to see exactly what the bot is doing and this is one of the bots that we saw from the uh, from the, the screenshots from when we were slash hooing in Dire Mall. This is one of the bots that we saw online through all of the scans and now we can see exactly what he's doing in there. He might not be botting but he's definitely cheating and hacking but it also really really looks like a bot that is doing this 12 to 18 hours every single day. 
So I will give credit where credit is due here because Blizzard actually did ban these bots and there's been a massive ban wave for both botting and real money trading or gold buying recently as many raiders have also been banned for gold buying and this is like top raiders in Season of Mastery that has been banned for gold buying so mad credits to Blizzard right there for banning people and banning the bots as well but I do think it took a bit too long because most of these bots are now in huge profit because they were able to do this for at least a month and we scanned them for two weeks, so definitely two weeks. But most of these guys have been hacking in Dire Mall for a long time now and they made heaps of profit. So by this point they probably started doing more bots as well to make even more profit because they do some small ban waves or massive ban waves every now and then and in my opinion there should be more active handling of the bot and more active banning like instead of doing one big ban wave every two months keep banning them every single day i really do think most of these issues would be fixed by having one game master on every single server that is actively searching for bots in the game and it wouldn't even have to be one for every single server, have one for every single region and just be active in the game and jumping back and forth to scan for bots in popular botting situations or locations. So both in the open world and inside dungeons, just teleport around and look throughout the popular locations. So one for every single region. So for Season of Mastery, two game masters. TBC Classic, two game masters. Retail, two game masters. That is six full-time jobs that they could create and they would make the game so much better. Another way they could easily make the game so much better and fix the bots in the same time is by having some sort of anti-cheat. So for example for Dire Mold right now in the clips that I showed you, these bots are hacking and clipping to get up in the air and through the wall. So have some sort of system that pings you or alerts the client whenever you are going above a certain threshold. So for Dire Mold it should be impossible to go above the ground or at least go above jumping levels. So you could have some sort of something that kicks you out of the game and triggers a warning on your account whenever you go above a certain Y axis in the game itself. So that way anyone that tries to fly or clip through the wall or clip through the ground automatically gets logged out and it triggers a warning on the system. And when they go back and log into the game, they are now on the surface again. So it, it, it doesn't work. And the clipping and flying and hacking should not work. And there should be some sort of easily accessible, like easily implement implementable anti-cheat system that will prevent pretty much all of this. But yeah, I just wanted to make this video because I, I gave Blizzard a lot of crap for not banning the bots in the game. And this time, they did. They did ban the bot. And that makes me a little bit more hopeful for Season of Mastery. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like down below. Let me know in the comment section below as well if you enjoyed the video. That is pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you again very soon.